Okay, so today we are going to talk about whenever, wherever, whoever, whatever, however. We're going to talk about what these mean in different situations and how to use them in different situations. Okay? So some, some of them are easy, some of them not so easy. So before we do that, I want to talk about this word. Regardless means that something will happen. It doesn't matter what else happens or it doesn't consider the other factors are not considered and this is an important word to understand for these words because they all kind of include this meaning in some way um, let me give you an example of regardless Maybe one person says, it's going to rain tomorrow. It's going to rain tomorrow. Another person says, I'm going to go to the park regardless. Now we could also say, it might rain tomorrow. And that might make it even more clear. So let's say it might rain tomorrow. I'm going to go to the park regardless. That means if it rains, I will go. If it doesn't rain, I will also go. It means I will go, but it doesn't matter what other things happen. Other factors are not considered. That means I don't think about the other things. Some people may decide, oh, it's raining, I won't go. I won't go if it's raining. Some people may say that. I won't go if it rains. But some people may say, I don't care. I will go no matter what. No matter what. And this is about the same as regardless, no matter what. Or we could say, Whatever the weather is like tomorrow, I will go to the park. So that means it doesn't matter. It means regardless. Okay, so whatever the weather is like tomorrow, I will go to the park. So this means it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Whatever means basically anything is okay or I can accept anything. So let's look at a couple of examples of how to use whatever. One meaning of whatever, like I just said, is basically anything is okay. But that has some suggested meaning in some situations. So let's look at a few examples. One person says, what do you want to eat tomorrow? Let's say it's a mother asking her son, what do you want to eat tomorrow? And the son can choose. And the son just says, eh, whatever, whatever. That means, now that doesn't mean exactly anything is okay. It has that meaning in it. It does mean that, but it has another meaning, which is I don't care. If you say, eh, whatever, it means you're maybe too lazy to think about it. You're too lazy to care. Um, maybe, maybe later you will say, oh, actually, I, I want this or I want this. You do care. But right now you feel too lazy to decide something. So you say, eh, whatever, or eh, whatever, it's up to you. Okay? Or if you really don't care and everything is really okay and you're not just being lazy, you could say it like this. Whatever you feel like making, 
is okay with me. So you could be more more direct and uh, show less less laziness by saying it this way. If you say whatever you feel like making is okay, that means you're actually thinking about you're actually thinking about what this person said. But if you just say eh whatever, that means you maybe are not really listening and again it shows some laziness, some laziness. What do you want to eat tomorrow? Whatever you feel like making is okay with me. Or whatever in a nice way, whatever, it's up to you. It's up to you means you decide, you decide. It's up to you means it's up to you. Means you decide. Okay, it's up to you means you decide. All right, let's look at a couple examples of whatever. Whatever I do, I always fail. So that means the thing I do itself is unimportant. The consequence is what I am focused on. So let's say you try to become a dancer or maybe you try to um, become a writer or maybe you decide you are going to be a businessman. Every one of these, this one, this one, this one, every one that you choose will not succeed. We could say it doesn't matter what I choose. It doesn't matter what I choose. Everything I do will fail. So this is just a short way to say that. Whatever I do, I always fail. Or you could even more simply say, whatever I try to do fails. Whatever I try to do fails. So whatever here is used just to mean everything, each thing that I do, okay? Everything, each thing. All right, now another way we use this sometimes is to be a little bit sarcastic. Sarcastic just means you kind of are saying the opposite of something. So let's let's just do an example. One person, let's say again, mother, you need to study harder. You need to study harder. Now, the son says, okay, whatever you say. Now this could have two possible meanings. One meaning of whatever you say is I will follow your advice. I will follow your advice. And it really means that. It really means, okay, whatever you say. That means if you say I should do something, I will do it. I will do it. So, okay, whatever you say. But that has another meaning. One of the meanings is sarcastic. And sarcastic means it means the opposite. Like sometimes we say, oh, great, when we mean something is bad. And when something is good, we also say, oh, great. So it can mean two things. And this one, oh, great, is sarcastic. So if the mother says, you need to study harder, and the son says, okay, whatever you say, that means sometimes I'm not listening to you, or it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter what you tell me to do. I will agree, but not actually do it. And this is really common. I will say I will do it. I'll say, okay, whatever you say, but I won't actually do it. So this one probably means I will just agree with you, but I won't actually do it. You shouldn't waste your money. So another person is giving someone advice. The other person says, but I like wasting my money. I enjoy it. So this person who's giving this person who's giving this person advice might might feel discouraged now. 
might feel discouraged that this person doesn't want to follow their advice and their reason for doing this, wasting their money, is not very good. So then this first person, let me put numbers by these so it's more clear. So then this first person, one, who is discouraged, might say again, okay, whatever. Okay, whatever. That means I give up trying to help you. This doesn't mean, like before, that you're agreeing with anybody. It just means I give up. Okay, whatever. That means do what you want. I'm not going to give you advice anymore. So this meaning is different, right? I give up. This person is trying to help this person, trying to give them some advice. But this person is not listening to the advice. So you feel, ah, who cares? You don't want my help? Fine. Okay, whatever. And usually they say it like that. Whatever. Whatever. Another one and finally, whatever by itself is sometimes used as an exclamation. That means loud and a little bit angry. When you want to leave a situation, some people will just say whatever when they want to go away from whatever situation is happening. So sometimes you can just say whatever when you want to leave a situation. You're talking to somebody and another person maybe isn't listening to you or maybe uh, you, you can't tell them what you want to tell them or somebody's trying to tell you something. Uh, whatever the situation is, you decide you want to give up on the situation. You just say whatever and leave the situation. All right. So let's look at wherever. Wherever is pretty simple. Wherever just means anywhere. Anywhere. We use it like this. I will follow you wherever you go. That means if you go somewhere, I will go there too. I think there's a song that has this inside of the song. I will follow you wherever you go. That could also be a little scary though, right? I see lights wherever I look. So that means it doesn't matter what place I look in, I see lights. Maybe there's something wrong with my eyes. Maybe I have some sort of eye problem. And because of my eye problem, maybe I see little lights. So it doesn't matter where I look. It doesn't matter where I look. I see lights. But this sounds strange. This is actually a more clear way to say this. Now, remember I said that anywhere is the same as wherever. Well, yes, in meaning, about the same, but it doesn't fit here. If we say, I see lights anywhere I look, like look, it just doesn't sound as good. It doesn't sound clear anywhere I look. Well, that suggests each place, but this suggests every place, right? So this one fits the situation better. Here's an expression we can use with this one. Wherever there's smoke, there's fire. This is an actual idiom. An idiom, an idiom is a kind of expression with a certain meaning. An expression with a certain meaning. Wherever there's smoke, there's fire. That means if you see smoke somewhere, there must be a reason or a cause for that smoke to be there. And so we say, wherever there's smoke, there's fire. Now, sometimes this is used in a literal way. A literal way and sometimes not literal. Literal means that it really means smoke and fire. Not literal or figurative means that maybe it's talking about something else. Maybe smoke is some uh, something that's happening and there must be a cause to that thing that's happening. Okay, So let's say you have a, an office workplace and there's one person in the office who always causes problems. And uh, you know if there's a problem in the office, this person is to blame. So that means wherever there's smoke, 
there's fire. Wherever there's a problem, it must be this person who caused it, right? So every place that has smoke probably has a cause, which is fire. All right, how about whenever? Just give you some examples first. Whenever you want to go, tell me. I'll go whenever you like. I'm ready whenever you are. Whenever I go downstairs, I hear a strange noise. All right, so these three are actually the same, the same basic meaning. So I'm sort of just sitting and waiting for you. Maybe you are doing something and I'm just waiting for you. We're going to maybe go do something together. We're going to go do something together and I'm ready. I'm ready. But maybe you are getting ready. Getting ready. And so because you're getting ready, I'm just sitting around. I might say whenever you want to go or whenever you are ready, tell me. Tell me means let me know. Let me know. That means let's go. Or, I'll go whenever you like. I'll go whenever you like. That means, again, when you want to go, tell me. Let me know. I will go when you want to go. Or, I will go when you want to go. I will go when you want to go. Okay. I'm ready whenever you are. Again, same meaning. It's just another way to say it. So, whenever you are ready, I am ready. That doesn't mean I will be ready at that time. That actually means, in fact, I am ready now. But I'm waiting for you. So I can say it like this. I'm ready whenever you are. Or some people just say it like this. Ready whenever you are. And some people just say it like this. Ready when you are. Ready when you are. So all of these are okay. Now let's look at this one. Whenever I go downstairs, I hear a strange noise. So this one is different than the other ones. This one is similar to what we said before about wherever, right? Each time I do this, this thing happens. So this is how we can connect something to another thing or we can we can say we we can connect two events together in this way. We can connect two events together. Each time this happens, the other thing happens too. Or let's say, whenever I open my mouth, I say something I regret. That means usually I say things without thinking very carefully and so I regret what I said. I wish, regret means I wish I didn't do that. That's what regret means. So whenever I open my mouth, I say something I regret. Whenever I go to Florida, I get a sunburn. So that means each time I go to this place, Florida is a very hot state. It's called a sunshine state. It has a lot of sunshine. Now I get a sunburn. A sunburn, a sunburn is when your skin turns very red and painful and then it peels, the skin comes off. It's because you had too much sun, okay? So each time this happens, this happens. Each time this happens, this happens. Connect two events together. We can connect events together. It's very, very useful. So remember this one and practice this one. Okay. Let's talk about, finally, However, now however, you can probably guess how we use however, but uh, let's just start by doing a couple of simple examples. However, we can use it in the same way as we used wherever. I'll spend my money however I want to. Now this means any way. However means in any way. I can do it in any way I want to. That means if somebody tries to tell you, you should uh, 
I don't know, save, blah, 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 blah. Somebody's trying to tell you to do something, but you don't want to follow their advice, then you can say this, I'll spend my money however I want to. That basically means don't, please don't tell me what to do. Please don't tell me what to do. I will spend my money however I want to. Please don't tell me what to do. Okay, here's another one. However you prepare doesn't matter. Just be ready. So let's say your boss wants to give you some assignment. That means some job to do, some job to do. You need to do this certain job or we could say this certain task. And the boss doesn't care how it happens, um, just that it does happen. Okay, so maybe you need to uh, you need to be ready to do a certain presentation or whatever. It doesn't matter. You need to be ready for something. Your boss has given you this instruction. You must do this, but your boss has not told you the way to do it, and he thinks the way is not important. The way is not important. However you prepare doesn't matter. Just be ready. That means I care about the result. Cares about the result. Not the method or way to get the result. Okay. However you do it is not my business. Just do it. Okay. So again, I'm focusing on this, not how. Okay. That means basically you figure it out or you must find the way yourself. You must find the way by yourself. You figure it out. You figure it out. I won't tell you how to do it. And maybe the boss doesn't know how to do it. Right? We don't know. The boss is just giving the task. So I guess it's good to be a boss. All right. Let's look at another way to use however. I think you did a great job today. However, there's room for improvement. Now, room for improvement basically means that there are some things that you could do better. There are some things that you could do better. It means what you did is not perfect. What you did is not perfect. Um, improvement, again, means to get better. To get better at something. So I think you did a great job today. However, there's room for improvement. However, here, means that I want to say, but it's the same as but. I liked the movie, but I think it was a little too long. We could also say, I like the movie. However, it was a bit long. This one is basically used the same as but to mean that something here is against something here and something here is against something here. There is something different or contrary to it. Contrary means not the same or different or against it. Okay. All right. Now the last one we need to do is whoever, whoever. Let's just do some examples. Whoever wants to go meet me downstairs in five minutes. Okay. Who do you want to go with? Whoever. You can succeed. Whoever you are. Whoever stole my car had better bring it back. Okay, so let's talk about these. Now, whoever wants to go, that means I don't care who, but any person that does, basically this means any person.
person that does want to go needs to meet my requirement. Requirement means what you must do. So that means be downstairs. You need to be here in five minutes. That's my requirement if you want to go. If you want to go, be downstairs in five minutes. That means this matters. This is important where you are in five minutes, but which person is not important. It doesn't matter who. It doesn't matter who as long as you meet this requirement, okay? As long as you meet the requirement which is being there in five minutes, okay? This one is just a simple reply. Somebody asks you, who do you want to go with? Whoever, whoever, whoever. You can just say whoever means I don't care. It doesn't matter. Anybody is okay. That means it's not important to me, okay? So whoever as a reply just means anybody is okay. Or I don't care. Right, so how about this one? You can succeed whoever you are. This one means it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who you are. You can succeed. And this is usually a sentence used to motivate to motivate people. Motivate motivate means to push people to work hard. So if you work hard, if you work hard, you can be successful. And again, it doesn't matter who. That means any person. Any person can be successful if they work hard enough. It's a good way to motivate people, okay? So again, that means any person whoever stole my car had better bring it back. Had better means must. Must. Had better. Or sometimes should. And that means I'm angry. You had better do this. You'd better do this. You'd better. Sometimes is used in anger. So somebody stole my car. Obviously, I'm angry about that. And I demand that they bring it back. But I'm not talking to that person. Maybe I'm talking to myself. Maybe I'm talking to my friend. Maybe I'm just complaining about my car being stolen. And I say, whoever did it, that means I don't know who did it, but they, who that person is, should bring it back. That doesn't mean they will, they probably won't bring it back, right? They probably will not bring it back. But we just say this as a way to say whatever person or whoever did this, okay? I don't know who, basically. I don't know who, but that person. Which person? The person who stole my car. So anytime you don't know the person, you don't know who did something, you just say whoever did this and then say what the consequence will be, what the result will be. Maybe you're a school teacher and the children paint all over the walls and they ruin the walls. The walls are very colorful now and you're the teacher. You say whoever did this needs to clean it up. Whoever did this needs to clean it up, okay? So that means I don't know who, but but that person, the person who did it needs to do that, okay? So if you have any questions about these, how to use them, whatever, whoever, whenever, wherever, and however, just ask me on WeChat. Practice these and the different ways to use them and um, if you get good at it, if you become good at this, you can say lots of different things. So it's really useful and it's really important to be good at this. All right. Again, if you have any questions, just ask me on WeChat. If you want to try to make your own sentences, again, just ask me on WeChat and I can help you. All right. See you next time.